Hi guys, sorry for a late start here. Didn't expect an opponent this strong in my casual lobby afternoon game. So, for the start, he purged me. I contained myself uh, from getting affected by the purge. And he tried to coup. I ran, didn't really work. So. His coup failed, so a standard spread. Mm -hmm. With the unrest. For in Italy wasn't really that necessary as opposed to some ops some influence into France but I don't know still old fashioned 442 is for me given how it cripples Soviet headline choices the goal and oh. okay the and Suez being not so awesome then that worked of course, it also makes Dickel as an event much better, since France is accessible. And counter coup... Ooh la la! I kind of hope he has Dickel, at least, to salvage something here. <coughs> No, that means it's big advantage me. Let's threaten another domination. And okay, I assume that means he doesn't have any. No, oh, that's crap. Okay. Okay, confirm, confirm. Come on, I can want my ops. One more here. That's Definitely necessary. So let's go for Europe. <laughs> Looks like after his, I assume, Truman play, I'll have three dominations. By the way, yeah, I could have maybe been more alert, went to East Germany to make his life complicated. Nah. I would have been bothered with Iraq maybe, but I'll settle for triple domination here. At last, last one could have gone to France as well. Uh huh. Hey, hey. Okay. Now that's tricky. Tricky dicky since he could have to go and stop Europe. But of Asia, I don't. I, I don't think he would headline Asia. No. But also he will will coup on AI one and stop Middle East. So let's go for the sure sink, although I'm usually burned by it. Especially since I will have to give up Middle Ops. Yeah. I have to say, I mean, he has to give up the coup, a uh, crappy coup in Iraq, but some millops for me nonetheless.
Okay, no Europe domination for you, I understand. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder which one was better. N assuming I knew he would headlight the goal, because with Asia scoring in the mix, that uh, gets a little tricky. Sure. Okay, let's not forfeit Algeria and... Okay, he can take Japan now, sure. That, that will come back. And I'll get the first space attempt. Unless he has Asia. In which case I will not, okay. That means Europe before he makes any trouble there. Since there's no longer any rush with space, although I could have maybe used Arp Israeli first in Japan. Not too much crap to do. Still has Romanian abdication. So annoying having to give up the VPs, possibly even four of them. Ah, sorry, be right back. So, what did he do? Started spreading, of course. So, here are your millops, my friend. I mean, let's go for the renewed Middle East domination. And let's remember he still has Romania abdication. Tricky one. Could steal. Uh, your domination, unless we get to see it. So, no worries, no blockade as well, so... An insane lack advantage for me. No Asia, which is regrettable. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going with the half factors this time. Odds are too great that there will be Asia. I got you as in the Pakistani war, so I'm perfectly safe in Asia. I will get that domination. Uh, with the war and US Japan. Yeah. So I guess I'll take my mill ups immediately. Okay, that was a good case for the factors. So I'll be losing probably West Germany. Hmm. We'll see. Thing is, I don't want to discard US Japan to it since I want to use it. As a safeguard for well Japan, but I think I can do it other way around. Wait for him to event blockade. This card use Japan and use Comic Con. Okay, the big one. NATO is active, so that's good. So let's go, boys.
yeah that definitely the right decision even if bad outcome these two are distinctly no distinct <laughs> not to headline the factors if the, he didn't have anything worthwhile to headline he would have dumped Asia having nothing better to do with it Mr. Space. Assuming that means he doesn't have decal, so Arc in Space also fail. Annoyingly, I'll have to place Wes. Or use intervention on it. I guess that's somewhat reasonable. I think he should, well, damn blockade first, of course. What? An, okay, come on, he got 5 plan, didn't he? He must have. Ah, uh, nuisance. At least this move wasn't particularly useful. I will be giving him Comic Con soon enough. Swiss Crisis with intervention, probably not. Oh, okay, it was useful. A oh, naughty, naughty boy. Four, five, okay. So let's use minimum here. Actually, there's a better way to do this. Might just take Japan. One more VP after all. Thank you. And Mr. Blocade. I know. I know. Laos is still useful, of course. So it is Asia. Ah, not taking one more from the UK. Interesting. So I don't need to put it back. With NATO active, of course, that's significant. Mm hmm. Yeah, Africa looks good enough. I expect it will only get worse with time. The voice can easily be played later, possibly much later, considering Ayende or Junta options. Junta will be headlined, so especially with the factors gone. So yeah, looks like oh luck me, despite the Purge blockade combo. I mean, no access cards, no rolls. Oh, he did get one in Panama, but that's late. Dependent are removed. No, so I might play Romanian sooner rather than later. Delay one smooth step to catch him with his space trousers down. Enter Malaysia sooner rather than later, same with Panama, to secure presence. All good here. 
I'll do it. Oh, okay, long gunman isn't per se good. But that's, well, one nuisance. And it's early enough, that's better because anytime I'll get Mr. Kennedy played for me or into my hand, um, if, if I get it on this turn, I'll be able to dump it. As opposed to them missing each other. A bit of a nuisance, to be sure. So, a big coup in Mexico, I assume. Tehran will obviously be an event. Since looks like I want to dump Central America. If he gets above have a Voice of America threshold, I might have to. Ooh, la la. That's bad. Uh. Okay, presence in central. Just to make it difficult for him and some brush protection. Not particularly worried about the Queen Cameroon, of course. Now it's Soviets without the rolls. Okay, with some notable but rare exceptions, as my game, ATCL game against uh, Sherl, where he didn't get any rolls until turn 7, but okay, he got both D cards, so yeah, he beat the crap out of me, but even he, even with both D cards, without the rolls, he struggled. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Okay, I'll allow the Europe uh, think Europe scoring. So I want mid ops anyway. Yeah, I figured he might have it. That was a clever way of getting it, and maybe I should have, yes, definitely I should have overprotected Europe in total with that shuttle. One Mexico, sure, but at least one of the others should have, or at least exactly one of the other two should have went to Spain, Portugal. That was a clever, clever play by him. Okay, still don't see any VOA material. Oh, sorry, it's not that urgent. Let me grab South America. If he scores central on me, then I don't, I no longer need Tehran to be vented. And regrettable I had to use one small step earlier, but... Perhaps even premature. I think I should have used Tehran first. <laughs> yeah, I was too fast here on two occasions. He doesn't want to give up the China card. 
Okay, how much stuff is there for Shahran? Now I think I want the ops more. Bit regrettable once again. VOA. So many options here. Okay, definitely need to challenge him in central, but now. Either no presence Middle East, but that's easily fixable. Or Southeast Asia. Yeah, but OPEC gone. There's less value from Middle East. Hello, sir. Right, Muslim revolution could be stolen from me, and I'm not risking Kennedy to dump it yet. Could use Cuban Missile Crisis. Looks worthwhile. Definitely will be using Mr. Kennedy this turn. Okay, I could... Yeah, let's be interesting salt. Since if he plays Missile Envy against me, I can find something less worthwhile and give it to him. Not the purge. Well, there is t still 3 VP. That I don't have. Uh, nah. Has to be flower power, doesn't it? The Pakistani Ooh. war is here. Uh, okay. Flower power. Okay. No problem. Yeah, and beats a Muslim revolution. Well, he would have preferred that, sure, but... No siree! Okay, how much will it dump? Kitchen will be back, so I will need that. No, we are at DEFCON 5, so there could be some fun involved. Of course, under salt, this fun could be limited. Ah, oh, not to Africa. Ooh, naughty boy. Hey, if I just go to Panama, he'll just retake it. So I'll need to coup. And okay, got some value. Of course, he can easily do the same now. Unless he gets there with one influence. Oh no, he could have liberation theology. Can't wait. Ah, damn it.
No, he would need to fail the coup completely for me to be able to ignore it. Hmm. Ooh la la. Okay. Not getting this, that's for sure. Uh, might have to lo use alliance for event here. Sorry for ops, which would have been regrettable. On the bright side, there are no bad scorings for the moment, at least. <laughs> Not many good ones. With Southeast Asia being just one. Middle East, yeah, okay, still good. The problem is, assuming he cools and I'm not forced to react to it. Puppets or Kennedy? Because if I go Puppets, he could go into Uruguay and I'll still need to play Alliance to secure... Hmm. Okay, hopefully he will... <sighs> okay, do I ignore... I'm definitely ignoring Nigeria. Yeah, let's go puppets. has South America, it's time to dump it now. He won't be able to react to anything here. I know there's a space for VP at stake as well, but I don't have any card I would have preferred to use it there. Okay, alliance it is. As regrettable as that was. Could be back though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he was fishing for the space bonus. Got it. Ah, I was fishing for Mr. Kennedy. Ah, hold. We'll see. Well, score obviously, but we'll see about the details. I think I'll keep Philippines. As for we'll see, of course, it's. Nah. I would have used it on Brazil normally. I guess I'll use it on Venezuela. Thank you for providing. Needs a 5 still. Oh well. Nah, with salt the odds are too small of me succeeding. I'll leave it as AR7. I want the event. Oh! Right! Ha! <laughs> Forgot! I had one more card. Oopsie. And I'm getting Junta. Hmm. Disgusting luck strikes again. Okay, special can wait. Maybe even for the better. Okay, Junta, it is. Ok, 
Okay, at least I missed the roll. So I'm losing Angola then. I'm possibly getting Middle East domination. And as for South America, we shall see. Yes, I am getting the domination. Quagmire is still around, so no real benefit in spreading stuff. Okay, he goes for it immediately. Arms raise unaccounted for. Let's do something about it then. Something being a disgustingly high roll and a domination, I guess. I know. Colombia, sure. Who? I don't think I have time to realign him now. Yeah, let's just cruise to the win. Not much he can do here. Whole br uh, grain says, Oh no, I keep it out of the reshuffle, but in this position, I just need to uh, not screw up completely and focus on Central America, of course. Breaking Cuba on my AR7. I know Gamma is still in play, so it's slightly risky to offer yourself to Mr. Ortega, but with Haiti and Nicaragua under his control, ah, could be even cheaper. Or he could just realign me now. Okay, let's not make it that easy then. I could realign myself, given that I'm at minus two here. Uh, ah, whoops, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to send it yet, keep him guessing. But that was truly embarrassing. Okay, one more time then. And I've got Central, but he got Liberation Theology. So, first let's bed trap him. Ah, actually that's totally unnecessary. Could have just headlined South America. I mean, I don't believe he headlines anything else than Liberation Theology. 
Could be mistaken. Thank you for the game, though nonetheless. So, my sweet summer child, if you still had hope, then Terracaris. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay, it's going up then. Uh, ah, sure. So let's make a double. Hopefully. Not as boring in either of ours. Favor. Distal socialist factors. I can live with that. Bloody hell. Even if he headlines Marshall, I mean, goes for the Marshall setup, I can just pivot to my list. with an added value of being able to possibly steal the Asia domination with diesel. Of course, I could just miss a roll or two, like my opponent did in the last game, and well, then there's nothing. What kind of setup is this? Oh, right, I'm using it sometimes. <laughs> right, you right. Might have succeeded in that role. No reason to rush with space to Had the purge and went with Nazis? Unusual. Okay, no time to dawdle in Asia. So if he has Europe scoring, well, he got away. And now I can focus on other more profitable regions. No chance he has me lease, of course, so I can delay that for a while. Oh. Surprising. I oh, hate this artifact thing.
Let's go to health Melops. I can afford going to Lebanon knowing that if he, even if he coos, I don't lose that much. Hmm. That's a temporary domination. Okay. Domination. Lebanon. Check, check, check. I don't have to dismantle the domination, probably. Or do I? For me, uh, sorry, for distal fodder. Although I have seen the factors. <laughs> Could be in. Uh, have the ops now. I leave the domination because now I can do this. Arab Israeli might be the hold card. Since that's Milops. In case of a duck and cover, headlined by my opponent. Okay. Losing China is somewhat regrettable, but affordable. Middle East. Kind of sucks, but oh well, something has to suck if you're not criminally lucky in a game. And of course, my opponent could just break talent here, but well, map is fresh, stuff is happening. Okay, 3 of 4 blockade. No, not regrettable. Okay, mm -hmm. Europe is safe-ish. Nothing worthwhile to headline. I guess I'll have to settle for Vietnam here. Ah! Dirty, dirty, dirty move. Which costs me Angola. And actually troubles me a bit. I want to take Algeria. I don't have the right card for it. Independent reds are pretty much unplayable given that I hold both Truman and, well, Europe is around. Arab Israeli. Sure, but then where are my melops? No containment, no marshal, of course. Ah, uh, no China. Yeah, Arab Israeli. Sad as it is.
then again if he if he challenges me in Europe no I still have Romanian okay so I can survive at least one challenge here if he keeps at it with Canada then I can play Marshall into Greece and Turkey then Marshall becomes somewhat playable okay he has a Korean war then I assume Yeah, that's disturbing. Extra security. Four. The pent reds could be playable here. Interesting. Okay, let's go. I'm trying to milk the maximum out of uh, Asia bonus. Secure at least a temporary draw. Of course, he will just take Philippines, sure. Easily fixed. But that way at least well I take value from the bonus, I redirect him partially to Asia. <coughs> and of course he will get his Middle East domination easily. I just hope I will get mine in Europe. My last move will be containment, he'll get extra power then, and with Italy, not as comfortable as it was, I think I'll have to put one there. She could have taken Indonesia, okay, good. And to secure Europe. So he's holding Korean War, I assume, and doesn't have decal. Mmm. <coughs> Juicy. 
If he gets me Lee scoring, I'm in trouble. I got it. <whistles> and I got the factors. And he got Europe. Okay, so that will be cheap, luckily. And yeah, it will be annoying. I can't even start the fight for domination. I think he has duck and cover. So decal is even more safe to headline. Yep, that's the one. Now playing Marshall now is premature. Same with NATO. Asia is perfectly safe for the time being. Although, of course, if he starts fighting back here, it's perfectly safe, though. No, he could use China to take Laos and something else simultaneously. Although he doesn't know I have Asia, and I do know he has. Okay, at least he missed that. So, for some security... Okay, so Middle East nullifies Europe. I'll be down by a significant amount after this turn. Just that, so he doesn't challenge me there. I don't think he will challenge me in Asia, he doesn't know about it. And I have the advantage of two countries. So if he starts challenging me, I will be able to respond. So interesting, started pretty well, but I'm down 8, possibly 10 at the end of the turn. I'm saying 10 since I'll probably go to Uruguay, given the circumstances. Ah. Definitely 10, possibly 12, since I will lose 2 from Asia. <laughs> yes, I know. Ah, possibly even more. Right, he gets another space attempt. Still has decal after all. Special, I don't think I can afford it. I might. Ah, damn it. No, I cannot give up Norad. I can give up Marshall. Oh, head blockade. Interesting. <coughs> but my AR6 will be China, I think. Not giving up NORAD with Africa, so it's Asia, to as uh, it is now, plus with me already giving him one influence in Canada. NATO... Yeah, I hate the idea of doing that. 
So maybe I have to. Maybe I have to. is two VPs. Influence will not be that threatening. I have Italy at four after all. And I'm hey, down 12 with two dominations. South is Asia worth more than either of them. I'm also okay, never mind. Worth as much as either of them. And another one in works. So, all good? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, that's better. Well, Barry, of course, can't be in here yet. We've seen the factor, so yeah, why not purge him? Nasser is worthless, so waiting for Sadat. The purge is universally good. Cambridge 5 would have been also pretty nice. Bah! Already getting value from it. Ah, so am I getting also some value, it seems. So, two dominations and a control. Stupid special. Right, no reason to give easy good target. Security. Yeah, it's pretty safe now. Hmm, I wonder why he didn't play it earlier. Cambridge 5 is so useful though. Yeah, so my awesome coup erased already. Hmm. Uh. 
And here is Sadat, and he's awesome, cool. Guess I'll hold Nora then, hoping for Quagmire. So as for a purge turn, he didn't really, uh, really lose much here. A good Mexico, he got it back. Didn't really lose anything. Stupid luck strikes again. <sighs> Let me guess. Hunta? Possibly. Plus he's not perched now in my hand is a bit crap. But another good scoring. And even if he has colonials, it would have to be VOA, possibly VOA in combination with something. Otherwise a headline also sounds good. He erased erases uh, Angola. Oh, okay. What's the card then? Purge. Mm hmm. Right, we are. Okay, still, let's lower Death Gun. And grab uh, Mexico once again. <coughs> then I have bear trap, so that's something at least. I probably shouldn't sell bear trap. Ooh. He missed the roll. Regrettable. Do I go for South Africa? Hmm. Nah. Too much crap in hand. Need time to manage it. And I need to remember to hold something. I'll be able to space under bear trap. Under ah, purge, never mind. Okay, okay. I have to cool something, or he just does that again. But all the advantage wipeout. So funny that we are fighting for Mexico so hard here. Okay. Now, so bear trap seems like a decent prospect here. To be honest. Yeah, I know he could coup Nicaragua and rely me out of Cuba, but we are under salt. 
So let's protect against Panama Canal, whatever. Protect Italy. I not scored, but ah. Uh, maybe not Italy then. What are the what threats are the OS oh, yes. colonials that scored? So colonials I shall ignore. OS oh, yes. will attack Argentina, I guess. Noya would have done that had he still held the purge, of course. So the biggest value of this play is being able to get rid of one, two, three, four, well, hopefully not that many <laughs> US crop cards. Especially Tehran is one I really don't want to give up. And with his Middle Eastern presence, hard to erase. It was either space or dump. He could just break Cuba and dump Central for free if he has it. Or OAS into Panama and take it from me, possibly steal the domination, but well, it's bird trap. I have to give up something in order not to give up something else. I'm hoping that, given that he started with salt, well, he might not have OAS or Panama, since these would have been respectable headlines. Even voice or colonials. Might have nothing. Hmm, should have overprotected Italy then, eh? Okay, okay, okay. So, which one will I give you? I like holding the China card. Lift off. Would have loved to give up Norad, but in this, these circumstances, I will not. Hmm, crap. Picard! Well, let's hope for the chat to the rescue. Ah, and also good. That was not also good. Still, now South America is a full 10 and check came to the rescue. Who knew? Okay, headlines could be grain sales. So, let's delay the check to the rescue thing. <coughs> And you guessed it, go for Mexico! In that case, even if Che, sorry, if Grain Cell steals something worthwhile, I'll get Mexico for my trouble again. I held Norad for a while, haven't I? Oh. Naughty, naughty boy, but I have just a thing to ease your fears. If you go against Panama, since that's the most obvious target, the game with liberation? I don't know.
Yeah, I don't envy him. Real lines, okay, one great target, but nothing else worthwhile. Coup, if he coups Panama, I'll still take it back with Liberation Theology. If he takes Venezuela, well, he could, but I will have a coup back. Okay, he goes for the real line. Good secondaries. That's always key. As he could have went for a Hail Mary against Mexico. after mm, emptying Cuba again, but well, not now probably. Oh, he did have grain cells and... <laughs> sorry. Ooh. Did not see that coming. Did you see that coming though? Yeah, but that actually troubled me a bit since... But no, there's no brush one or IBM. Best he can do is presence. Okay, he doesn't want to realign me, that's fine. Had he not entered Cuba, I might have considered Che, but now, okay, if I even successfully coup Haiti and Nicaragua, he'll just take Cuba. So, no real value, or at least prevent me from taking it with some tree up. Mm-hmm, Mr. Bioi. That's an empty Middle East. Okay, I really don't want to be challenged in Asia any further. At least. Now you take Cuba or don't. Uh, what was the first card? Come on, show me. Oh, right, Gunman. Mm -hmm, okay, I've got a moment to space. You might have gotten Central, of course. Might hope for a domination. Well, he will take Cuba anyway, but then I will react with Che. That's a good play. No cookie for you. Ah, or was it no cake for you? Nah, with cake it was. The cake is a lie. <laughs> Three. Yeah, I don't want him to coup again. Just stop whatever you're doing. <laughs> That's funny how easily I scored big points from Africa, Southeast Asia, and South America. 
not Junta again. Oh, come on, guys, this is ridiculous. But we are just bickering constantly over Central America. Uh. <laughs> and a huge rolls again. Huge roll. Guess what? I might space no rat. Ah. Nah. Huh. Hard to say. No, I I think I'll hold nuclear subs. That's a good get out of jail card. Okay, say makes showing how it's gone. So something else. Hmm yeah, I'll just take that. Teaching Sadat in the process. True, made some mistakes, but nothing to deserve this. Now we'll be cooing each other. Or not. Let's start the long way home. And now we'll be killing each other. Or it would have been if he had anything worthwhile to roll. Space, 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 space. All right, under three minutes. That's not quick. <coughs> OPEC doesn't provide me much value, I assume. Come on, I'm just going to ignore that. <clears throat> yeah, his previous attempt with Europe from the previous game, I think, was great. Europe, Colombia, cost him a bit though, in South America. This one doesn't really do anything. Like the idea of holding a perch. Especially since if he's delaying the play of Central America scoring so much. Ah, okay, with his time it doesn't matter anyway.
I hold the perch. MCA is gone. Nuclear sap shouldn't matter. Of course, the better move probably was to play the perch into France. Perch and blockade. Who knew? Miss Envy gets you. Hmm, CMC is actually annoying. He ditched the gunman though, so might as well, I guess. It's hard to deliberate about what's the best move if his time is at 15 seconds and counting down. Right, there's this. He's at plus one, though. Could be not enough. Won't be enough. Okay. He won't even see the five year plan ruining his hopes for last good scorings. Alas! Whatever you do. It's worthless unless you do it fast enough. So, thanks for watching, my luck finally turning a bit, and into, until next time.